Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program and the Daily Kerbal. And let me introduce you to the Freya Lander Mark II. The Freya Lander was what we used the second time we landed on the moon, and this is what I decided to uh, send out to the uh, to our new lunar space station, the Rocco Max Lunar Space Station, in order to be the vessel that permanently stays out there around the moon and lands on it from time to time. I have modified it somewhat. You'll notice that in order to make docking a bit less of a chore, I have added some monopropellant thrusters onto the side in order to make sure that we have some better maneuverability when we get close to it. I have changed the Clampotron docking port junior to an actual sized Clampotron. Other than that, our vessel is more or less the same. I have added some ladders to it. I've sealed it in a fairing, and of course I have gotten rid of all the solid fuel boosters, replaced them with our brand new liquid fuel engines that we've been using, and just altogether changed the, uh, the launch stages. The crew consists of our brand new pilot, Catherine Kerman, and a veteran scientist, Bob Kerman, who's already been to the moon once has not yet landed on the moon, but that is something that we hope to fix in the future. Now, our goal today is to get this vessel out to the moon and dock it with the station. We're not going to be performing a landing today. I'm not going to go collecting science uh, just yet. Right now, all we want to do is perform a docking around the moon and uh, prepare this vessel to become the key element in science research on the moon in the future. Anyway, uh, I removed the Rocco Max mission flag because the, the station sure is Rocco Max, obviously, but doesn't mean that the ships docking there have to be as well. So I'm going to save the Freya Lander Mark II and let us send her on her maiden voyage. We might even end up giving vessels like this. I clicked exit, didn't I? Oh, well. uh, we might even end up giving... Might end up, end up giving vessels like these that stay out in space for a while names, because you might as well, right? The uh, the Mercury vessels in, in the Mercury space program all had their own names. The even the Apollo landers had their own names. They were Apollo class spaceships, I guess. They were all designated some way with the with the with the Apollo name itself, but the one that landed on on the moon for the first time was called the Eagle, for example. The, the one, the, the one that was tested the first time, the Lunar Lander was called uh, Spider, I think, or, or Gumdrop, or maybe both. Anyway, uh, uh, launch. I uh, <clears throat> didn't throttle up all the way. We're flying nice and even, though. Not a lot of drag, not a lot of pull in either direction. I'm, excuse me, I, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to restart this launch. It was kind of stupid of me to not have the throttle up all the way. There, see, that's better. Okay, better to restart these things early on. All right, keep an eye on our fuel supply. Uh, I did check the staging, but it is good. Interesting, but it feels like this vessel is gaining speed slower than the space station was. As though this lander is heavier? Question mark? That seems... Not likely we are spinning. I'm gonna take our acceleration down a bit. why we're spinning. Did I not put the wingless on evenly? I think I did. We definitely are spinning. Late on the gravity turn. Shouldn't be much of a problem. We can actually do a lot of 
really, really good maneuvers with this, uh, with these engines. I really like them. They make a lot of these flights a heck of a lot easier. That being said, we used them up now, so... I'm also feeling that this vessel controls a little bit harder. The other one had reaction wheels on it, some extra reaction wheels to, to get it to move a little easier. This one is having some trouble with that. Are we doing another? Yeah, we can start better orienting ourselves toward an orbital path. We got lots of fuel left. The more fuel we have left over at the end, the better. Because another part of constructing these space stations is going to be hauling fuel containers up there. Because remember, that's the reason we're building these space stations in the first place, is to make them refueling posts. Now that is going to be excitement itself, I guarantee. Hauling fuel canisters up to every single space station. Oh hey, what's this? Ah, that's uh, one of the contracts that I believe I accepted. To launch a satellite. Equatorial orbit around Kerbin, a pretty large one apparently. It's not one that we're going to worry about right now, but certainly one that we can work towards in the future. One of our future missions. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit more focused on getting this... getting this, uh... Kerbin centric infrastructure working. I don't think I have been gushing about this game enough. I'm sure that I have, uh, like, I know, I know that I have multiple times uh, went into great detail as to how much I absolutely adore this game, but I still don't think I've been gushing enough to, 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 to truly convey just how much intense positive feelings this game brings out of me. And I, the thing is, I wouldn't even necessarily call this game fun, if that makes sense. Like, it's, it's, um, it's kind of hard to explain. But right now I am literally tapping the WASD keys at, like, tiny micromanaging maneuvers. And I am watching fuel gauges and speedometers go up heights and the like. But I wouldn't necessarily describe this as fun. It's extremely engaging to me. But it also kind of makes me understand as to why this game is such a niche thing to so many people. It also kind of explains to me why uh, not a lot of people are very interested in watching a lot of the NASA live streams. just because the NASA live streams are not, in truth, all that interesting. Okay, I gotta be careful here because we have about half as much fuel as I see up there. Because remember, this thing also has its own... In fact, let's, uh, let's deploy the ferry. There we go. Entirely certain that this is going to easily make orbit, but and it should be okay. We are still ahead of our apoapsis, although no, not by much. Speed up. Samri is still flying out there. I also picked up another rescue mission in orbit of the moon. That's another thing that we can attempt at some point. Come on, there's a periapsis. Excellent. Keep it coming.
there we go. Okay. Orbit established. Now let us target the moon. And I'm going to try... This is something that I did in the last episode, you'll remember, is I approached the moon from the other side. And that's pretty much how we're going to have to do it all the time from now on. Hmm. Not entirely... I think I, I might have actually gone the other direction. Yeah, like this. And then... How did I do that? How did I do that? Eh. That looks like it. It's our periapsis. Can I? No. Nope, I passed it. Hang on. Yeah, that maneuver's not taking us in the right direction at all. <sighs> I really should have just stuck to what I knew. Not sure why I chose to flip that. Ugh. Well, Of course correction here. Excuse me for going silent like this. I'm just testing out theories. It seems to me like I should just be able to burn somewhat like this much here. Yeah, there, like that. Well, here's hoping. If not, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what fuel we have left on the space station to try and turn it around. There's not a lot else that I can do at this point. But hey, this is what this game is about. It's about trying out new things. It's about exploring and experimenting. One minute and 31 second burn. We know that's not true. There we go. Set to the maneuver node. Give it an extra minute, just in case we need it. And start burning. Come on, hold her there. Look at that thing, isn't that just majestic? Uh, that's literally the ugliest spacecraft I've ever seen. But hey. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to get it done, right? Fuel burn appears quite efficient. Let's speed it up just a little bit. I can speed up. Speeding up is cool. Hmm. Just increase the burn, I guess. I 
actually consciously trying to avoid sticky keys right now. So there's that. I think once we get this lander out there, might be time we started rescuing some of these Kerbals, knocking out some of these other contracts that we have. You know that we can do them. And that we are kind of desperate to get some extra science points. And Like, other space programs by now probably would have moved on to Minmus. And I intend to do that sooner or later, but for now, I want to get this done properly. I want to get that space station working. I want most of our space flights to start out from there and not from Kerbin. If I can bypass that entire launch procedure as much as I can, make the new space station the center of space research, space exploration, that'd be swell. Super cool. It's kind of in our way. Yep, it's like I thought. We're not actually... Not actually orbiting the, the moon this time from the opposite side. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this right now. I'm going to let it move on. I'm going to switch to the lunar station. Because this station is now moving in the opposite direction. So, we don't have a lot of fuel left. I'm going to try and flip this station around. Promises to be no easy task. Especially, I'm, I'm really going to miss this near-perfect lunar uh, equatorial orbit that we achieved. We still have the lander on approach, so let's just do this. Okay, uh, here we go. What really sucks about this is that I'm having to manually keep our heading directly in the center of the, of the maneuver node. Crap. Did that to see how we were doing. And we're going to run out of fuel before this makes it, I'm afraid. But who knows. It's a lesson well learned, I guess. We're not going to be attempting doing anything like this in the future. as far as we can, which is pretty far, actually. This is doing pretty well. I'm sure our periapsis and apoapsis are not falling down. We can attempt minor course corrections, minor uh, orbit corrections with those later. Actually, I could just... that drops it, so if I keep it up here, that'll raise it. Yeah. actually came pretty close. It's not too far. Okay. We can dock with that. Back to the lander. And 
This pilot does not yet have her. Oh my goodness, look at that fuel. Didn't even notice how little fuel we had left. I'm almost certainly going to have to switch to the, uh, the lander's own fuel supply. But we'll see. Wonder why... Oh, there we go. For some reason, stage U wasn't working previously. Probably because of the fairing. It's working now, though. And nope, it looks like we're actually going to get this into orbit and into dock. Still with only the service module's fuel supply. Okay, that's good. This pleases me. We can now set the Rakomax Lunar Station as our new target. Bring in the peri periapsis to encounter. Goodness, which one? Uh, it's it's the bottom one. Okay, yep. there. Now we're flying close. Gonna fix our angle first of all, which would be a normal vector. I might as well just even try to encounter them there. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, 0.4 kilometers. All right. This is going to... The, the, the difference in the angles is going to mean it's going to take a lot of fuel for us to sort of, you know, lock onto their heading, but I think we can do it. I think this will work. All right. Quick save. Let's, uh, let's warp here. Press slash to cancel. Wait, where's slash? I'm on a Hungarian keyboard. Alright, fine. Looks like the simple deceleration button works too. Right, how far are we from the node? Four minutes, three minutes. Okay. Right about now. Look at that. Look at that heading. All right, we're, we're still definitely going way too fast, though, so start slowing down. This should put us on the proper heading, too. Keep the little X on the little dot in the middle of the upside-down Mercedes symbol. I, I wish that, like, actual astronauts taught this way, too. Uh, Houston, our little green X is in the middle of the pink dot in the center of the upside down pink Mercedes symbol over uh, Roger Houston All right, bring our speed down the lander's got plenty of fuel left in it I guess but uh, some of it's going to be used up I'm going to transfer fuel from the lander to the, uh, the spacecraft in fact, I just came up with an idea. Let's see how viable that is. How's our, our path looking? Yeah, it's going to take some serious slowing down once we get close to it. I'm going to quick save again. And 
counter's looking really good. In fact, let's speed up a bit. Okay, here we go. Now the drastic slowing down. Didn't slow down drastically enough. On the other hand, I did manage to very accurately hit my target. I mean, there's no denying that. Okay, now, here's my idea. The engine on the bottom of this is a poodle, so I could, for all intents and purposes, just uh, RCS. Uh, wrong way. There we go. Okay, let's slow us down practically to zero. There we go. We are now moving away from it. That's good, I guess. And let's decouple this. Now, this had no fuel in it anyway. And rotate the station, the bottom of the station, to face the lander. There we go. Okay. Back to the lander. Turn the RCS off for the turn. Now let's move ourselves towards it. Sweet. And we are targeting the docking node. I like how good I've gotten at space docking. We're basically going to use the lander's engine to f finish correcting the orbit of the station. Okay, we're heading directly at it now. Bring this up a little bit. Slow us down. Beautiful. All right, we're docked now. Let's get back to correcting this. Ugly, ugly orbit, shall we? Now, luckily, we've got, uh, what's his name? Tangens Craft. I'm actually going to just set him as a target, and I'm going to use his equatorial orbit to serve as a guide to correct ours. This also means that we have now completed our contract of constructing an orbital station around the moon. Because we now have space for six Kerbals up there, in fact, seven, because the lander can supports two, and... We also have two pilots on the station. Because now it thinks that the lander can is part of the station. Anyway, let's point up this way. There we go. Watch this. Until we get a little closer. Let's start burning. Here 
Let's see how low we can get it. That's about as low as it'll go. 0.3. You know what? I'll take it. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. That being said, I do want to kind of correct this. We were at 45,000, correct? So let's be back at that. Past, no problem. There. Close enough. That's our station. That is our station. It's small. It's still trying to focus towards its retrograde vector because I didn't turn it off. It is low on fuel, but it is ours. And it is around the moon, doing its job. And in the future, this is going to be a very important spot from which we start performing regular moon landings, bringing back regular science. From Lunar Orbit, I am Lemurak. Thank you very much for joining us, and I will see you in the next episode of The Daily Kerbal. Bye-bye.